you have to imagine the old station being here. And once we got the conductor up over top of it, we salvaged out the old steel. And then once we got rid of all this old steel, we went and we put in new footings, cement footings for the new girders and columns. It's an old infrastructure. Uh, it was built in 1919. So probably a lot of this area was not even uh, built around here. A lot of the new homes are probably in the 50s, 60s. So what we're doing is revamping the whole substation here from the same footprint that it was energized in originally. We're just uh, rerouting a few things, doing it in different phases of de-energizing, getting outages, restructuring and pulling in wire to keep the power on. With Hydro we've never done this sort of job before where we're keeping the power on and keeping it all energized in the same footprint. It's a block by block area here from Stafford to Harrow. It's just a unique project being able to keep the power on and doing it in stages and being able to uh, keep the community on and keep the customers around this area on while we are salvaging and redoing the 66 kV. Well, we cleared one 66 kV line that went over to Scotland Station from Stafford Station. We uh, stopped traffic across ground and we dropped the three conductors and now we're going to salvage two bays of steel with the girders and columns and then after that is done we're going to pull in our new 266 wire and we'll hook up it to our switches and then after we're done we'll get rid of some of the breakers underneath and uh, we'll re-energize that line and then following week we're going to do the next line. With the cold weather this year being ridiculously cold and we had to come back a couple weeks later but we made that time up and Everything for the 22 stages, we've been right on track and uh, we should be right on time for October of 2014.